12. <laughs> I probably learned it on a porn site. <laughs> um, I first learned what sex was when I was like, probably like nine. And like I stumbled across someone's porn collection. And like I asked my older sister and I was like, so I saw this. <laughs> and she was like, they're having sex. <laughs> so yeah. I ended up like just seeing things from like videos my dad would kind of like put on like not like adult videos but like scenes that were in like just those movies and I just kind of was like questioning that but like I never really like got any actual answers until I was like in grade 8 like grade 11 12 um probably like grade seven when we actually did um sex ed but like i didn't know how many options there were like everything we knew was like the pill or like i think at the time the shot um i like learned more about contraceptives after i had my kid actually <laughs> grade eight we had like a general like class and they just kind of told you like we have birth control pills and the condoms and they didn't tell you like how to use them and so until i was in grade 9 when i was like 4 13 14 when i decided that like i wanted to do something about my health that's when i started to learn about birth control at a sex um health center it sucked yeah i remember um the teacher telling us like oh and when you have sex like you create a baby that's basically like what they told us um my high school sex education honestly we didn't focus much on the sex i remember a lot more about drugs barely there we had like a week of like health during the one semester of gym that you have to take in your entire high school and you literally just learned like your body parts like your vulva a penis and that was it you didn't learn about birth control condoms like how to even put a condom on like they didn't even really get like STI talking. Like she, our teacher was very nervous and like uncomfortable talking about it, so she just kind of avoided it. Not at all. Um, it came up. It was never like you know, like this is the process or it's okay to have one. It was more so just like this is an option, but it's bad. <laughs> Definitely not. No. No, we did not. Just terrible. No, not until I was, um, I, at my school they had like a different set of program for like at-risk teens and they decided to send all these girls off to this one center. And that was the most helpful thing I've ever gotten and I'm so thankful for my school for that because like the school didn't teach us anything. No, I feel like that's maybe something they're even starting to consider now, but definitely not when I was in high school. No, no. I got more of that from my alternative high schools, definitely not from my regular high schools. It was very like hush hush. The stuff that actually matters if, because you can't prevent people from having sex, but you can help them help themselves. And that's just something that I feel like the education system failed me. Oh, there's so much. Like, not even just like on my part i guess it just feel like so many like young young girls are pressured to have sex it's okay to say no ages of consent and taking away your consent and also that if something were to happen and you were like under the influence even if you're underage that if you were to report something you're not going to get penalized for that everybody has questions and if you're thinking it there's probably someone else who has already thought of 